you were too busy, like, like uh, doing interviews, Anthony. <laughs> Jesus, that, I'm very busy, man. I didn't even know you were doing interviews while we were in Vegas. <laughs> Anthony in Vegas. Cumia, his quote in uh, Radio Monitor Billboard: "O and A replacing Stern is a no-brainer." <laughs> did they? Did he tape this or something? Because I, it really isn't the way I speak. Like, it was kind of thrown, he threw, like, my sentences together. Well, once you read it as you, and I'll, I'll be able to tell if, uh, if, they, if they were, you know, taping this or not. Mm -hmm. Many in the radio industry were surprised in late December when Citadel's WAXQ, 95X Syracuse, New York, pulled Howard Stern's show in favor of controversial talkers Opie and Anthony, seemingly exiled from terrestrial radio since 2002. However, the duo currently being heard on XM Satellite Radio, viewed their two-week run at the Active Rock Station as a trial run for their return to radio. Co-host Anthony Cumia tells Billboard Radio Monitor the duo would, quote, absolutely, unquote, <laughs> they quote one word, <laughs> <laughs> quote, absolutely, unquote, be interested in replacing some of Stern's affiliates if the situation was right. Quote, when we were over at WNEW doing afternoons, we shared Howard's audience. And I think it's a no-brainer to pop us in, especially some of the markets that we were really big in. Unquote, he says. Quote, I think, they'll, I think they'd be very happy with the result. Unquote. I don't know. I don't think I said it like that. When we were over at NEW doing afternoons, we shared Howard's audience. And I think it's a no-brainer to pop us in especially some of those markets that we were really big in? I don't know. It is a no-brainer. I'm a little... I mean, it's time for Joel Hollander to wake up and just throw us on in New York, Philly, Washington, Boston. Check, please. Thanks for Check. coming. Bellman. Bellman. <laughs> As Ted Nugent would say, drive safely. Oh, that <laughs> Ted's a card. Oh, what a card. Boy, when he gets on a rant, you better just sit back and watch. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I liked him because he's an, he's you know he's filled with honesty. Yeah, he, he believes what he believes, and and he'll tell you. I like people like that. You don't have to agree with it. Hitler but I can't honest. agree with it. I respect you that. Can, you can't disagree with it. But he ended every dramatic, <laughs> dramatic, fought with. Drive safely. Shut up! <laughs> you just sit back and let Uncle Ted tell you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Shut up! This is how it's gonna be. So drive safely. Yeah. <laughs> You know, like, you know, like, what are we, like, just you know, middle-of-the-road idiots? Gee, good point, Ted. I didn't realize that the government does that. Thanks. Yeah, you can't disagree with him. Like, he, he finds it incomprehensible that there is even another viewpoint in some of his uh, arguments. Yeah, the next time he's on, we're going to have to get someone that's uh, way left to kind of yeah, go the out The left, though, him. can't argue with the right. It just doesn't happen. It doesn't work. The left really comes off looking like sniveling little worms. Unless you're a guy like Ron Kuby, who's really inf you got to be like that smart to be able to pull off a liberal argument. Ron he, he, I believe me, I hope he falls into a ditch. But I mean, he is a smart guy, and he, he's, a, he's a good debater. Mm. All right, Uncle Ted. Back to the uh, <laughs> exclusive yes. interview that Anthony did with yes. Billboard Radio Monitor. Kumia and co-host Greg Opie Hughes. <laughs> Greg quote Opie unquote Hughes. Yeah, that Greg. was my first radio name, by the way. <laughs> what? Greg Opie Hughes. The whole name. You didn't just go with right. Opie and you right. didn't go with Greg When I was Hughes. on in Rochester, was, uh, when I was doing two for Tuesdays in the four-play weekends, I was Greg Opie Hughes. Greg hey. Opie Spuds Buckley Hughes. This is Greg Opie Hughes on your four-play weekend where the fourth cut is always live. Ugh. Here's Leonard Skinner, Freebird. Shut up! <laughs> I'm going to go spend the next 25 minutes getting a blowjob from some slut in the parking lot. I'll oh. be back. Nice. Anyway. Absolutely. Cool. And, then, yeah. and then the the PD's like, uh, well, Greg Hughes would be a nice radio name, and Opie would be a nice radio name, so you have to decide. <laughs> and really? I, and I decided wrong, because now I'm stuck <laughs> with a stupid name. Wrong. Go ahead, Anthony. Uh, Greg Opie Hughes, yeah. Had been off terrestrial airwaves since 2002 when they were yanked by Infinity Broadcasting. Oh. Here it comes. For broadcasting Our legacy, couple, everyone. having sex in a vestibule of St. Patrick's Cathedral. Enough. Opie and Anthony became the first high-profile jocks to sign on to satellite radio and have been on XM since October. The show that aired on WAQX was, edited, uh, was an edited version of the previous day's XM show. The pair's relationship with Citadel's chairman CEO, Fareed Suleiman, is that his last name? Suleiman, yeah. Yeah. Led to the two weeks of ONA's airing in Syracuse. Quote, 
We've been on pretty good terms with Fareed since he worked for Infinity, Kumia says, on what led them to being heard on WAQX. Quote, we got along pretty well with him, and after our little fiasco, when we got the boot, we still kept in touch with him. He had always been offering us jobs at his stations, but Opie and I wanted to see how it was going to play out. We definitely wanted to return to radio in New York and a lot of the other big markets we were in. We didn't want to be exclusive to a couple of markets in Pennsylvania, New Orleans, and Reno. And that's what uh, Fareed initially yeah. offered us, right? We wanted to be in the bigger markets and where our fans were. So that's what kept us from signing on board with Fareed and Citadel. Signing on board? I would never say that. It's either signing or getting on, on board, board or something. You know, you don't sign on board. You say big a lot, though. Big? Yeah. yeah like, I know. You bigger. like the word big and I bigger. Didn't do the big. I do big. I'm looking forward to biggest. Marcus, we were bigger. <laughs> biggest. Marcus, we were biggest. In, no, I don't talk like that. We want to be bigger. Bigger. We want to be in the big, big markets we were big in <laughs> because it's bigger than big. Yeah, we're Darn. bigger lovers. <laughs> you goddamn bigger. Uh, the way the whole thing worked out was pretty informal. It was sort of a testing ground for putting us back on bigger terrestrial radio bigness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Suleiman and Stern have been warring since last year when the five Citadel stations airing st uh, station Stern was airing on began ending the show abruptly at 10 a.m. Suleiman stated that Stern was promoting his impending jump to Sirius Satellite Radio too much. What, are you going to read the whole thing? Yeah. Jesus. No one highlighted it. All right. Well, that's all. Then they what mentioned all the stations him? that he was on, that uh, that Fareed took him off. No, I just like your quotes. And then it goes back to Kumia says. Kumia yeah. says, O&A were enjoying their freedom on, uh, are enjoying their freedom on XM and don't want to give it up. Quote, we don't want to compromise what we're doing and we're pretty happy with the show right now, Kumia says. It's quite a lot of freedom when you don't have to worry about the FCC on you. Didn't say that like that. We wouldn't want to compromise uh, that to get back into terrestrial radio. But we think other people, we think, and other people think... Wow, you don't talk like that at all. ...that there is a way to do this that would put us on even live and not compromise what we're doing with satellite. No. I don't talk like that. God. guy has me as a blithering idi idiot we think and other people think and other people think we're all thinking that's still got to be hashed out with whoever we decide to work with i probably did say hashed out yeah you like that you word. like the hashed. you like the word hashed that's got to be bigly hashed out mm -hmm. in a big way all right markets we were mm. big among the other options kumia discussed is talking uh about more risque subject matter on xm during terrestrial commercial breaks or having a long delay that would allow stations to punch out of material they might find offensive yeah, kind of story is still pending, but uh, getting a lot of press, Anthony. Oh yeah, a lot of press these days. That was my uh, interview for, on my cell phone uh, from my big suite at the MGM Grand. Oh, just oh. sitting there kicking my feet up, watching a little uh, TV. I think I had um, Team America on. Yeah, with yeah. the puppet sex. Oh, the puppet sex. One of the hysterical. one of the best scenes in movie history. When the puppet. Is giving the girl puppet uh, the pile the driver. Pile driver. <laughs> it's the funniest goddamn scene I in a movie. I can't wait to get the DVD. You know that DVD is going to be good. Oh yeah, because so. there's supposed to be extra sex scenes between the puppets. Well, yeah, that sex scene was supposed to be twice as long, but yeah. Hollywood was like, "Oh my god, you can't have puppet sex." Blah blah blah. All right, well, if you cut it in half, we'll uh, we won't give you an X rating or whatever the hell they were going to give them. It's supposed to be a s tender, sensitive moment between the two characters that are, of course, played by puppets, and they start out kissing and. And just like they show, that's you know, why the it's so brilliant. Scene. Well, they were kissing with the sun going down. Yeah, because that's what movies show—the nice romance. Right, the romance, and then they're in bed, and you kind of see the covers, and yeah, they're yeah. under the covers, and it just mutates into this hardcore puppet <laughs> sex. <laughs> but that's... Where he's got the back of her head pumping up and down in his crotch. But that's the reality, you know. It starts with a nice dinner and a sunset, and ends yeah. with the the wheelbarrow. The wheelbarrow. Her on her hands, you holding up her legs, and walking around the room with your. With your penis in her. He's holding her ankle. <laughs> She's doing a handstand. He's just pounding down on her. <laughs> Hysterical. Oh, it's, it's wonderful. America.